according to the Daily Mail, which uh, ran, uh, claims the team are facing a revolt from disgruntled staff who are planning to enlist former team principal Martin Whitmarsh's help. Uh, this is part of the article. To vent frustrations over the senior management who are at a loss to explain the car's lack of performance in Canada. That's according to that newspaper report. We've spoken to McLaren, and this is a, a response from them today. Martin worked for McLaren for many years, but has been outside the business for some time and is not part of our future. What he said was ill-judged and ill-informed, in our view, but he's entitled to his opinion. There are high expectations in the team, and we won't compromise those high expectations. Everyone at McLaren is working tremendously hard and is focused on the future, not the past. Um, I just want to mention something to you. So Zach Brown gave an interview a while ago as well, and he mentioned the decline really started at McLaren, probably with Lewis Hamilton, when Lewis Hamilton said, I'm leaving. Mm. Really, it started on Whitmarsh's watch in that era. And that's, from what I understand from the team, that's, that's a feeling among a lot of the team, because they lost Lewis, they lost Mercedes engines, he brought in a new technical department, he changed the way the technical department worked. Yeah. You've worked in McLaren. What, what do you think's been happening? I owned it at one time. But <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that there was been a long decline. I think when Martin came along, I, I, I like Martin a lot. He's a really good guy, a really intelligent guy. But he brought in management systems that, frankly, belong in British aerospace. And I just don't think Formula One works that way. I really believe this pyramid um, setup in Formula One is the way to go because you need somebody pulling it together. Mm. And you can have a department, the aero department, you can have somebody in charge of that, and you have a chassis department, somebody, then you have the, you know, the, 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 in, the systems department and so on. I mean, y you can have all that. But you need to pull it together. We were talking earlier about compromise. Mm. Compromise for the engine, you know, for, for, for packaging around the engine and so on. If you don't have somebody sitting on top, who's going to make the right compromise? Because the aero guys don't want to give it up. Yeah. And the engine guys want more than they need. Someone needs to tell so them, you, you move to here, you, you move to here to and we'll get it to... Yeah. sit on top of it. Now, you know, Zach Brown, I don't know Zach Brown, but as far as I know, he's got no technical background at all not as far as Formula One goes. Um, and Martin, as I say, Martin came along with a kind of a, a, a method, if you like, that I don't think suited Formula One. Um, and I spoke to Ron probably 18 months, two years ago, and you know, Ron was taking me around, fantastic factory, absolutely amazing uh, road car plant and everything. I kept asking Ron, but Ron, you know, who's pulling it all together? Who's on top of Formula One? You have got too many other interests. You should give them up and go and sit on Formula One yourself. But, you know, I think as it happened, the, uh, the people owning Formula uh, McLaren disagreed. And